energy in downtown Denver is electric today. Hockey fans taking over inside and outside of Coors Field. It's all for the alumni game between the Avs and the Red Wings. And who wouldn't want to see some of the great players hitting the ice again tonight? That's right. Denver 7 reporter Liz Gillardi is there. And Liz, that is the place to be this weekend. <laughs> Oh, that's the place to be. You can feel the excitement and the rivalry. You can also hear cheers inside. We talked to a lot of people today, and there's a lot of anticipation as the Avalanche take on the wings on the ice at Coors Field. A tense rivalry, a one-of-a-kind setting, drawing fans from all over. Uh, from Ann Arbor, Michigan. From Sarnia, Ontario. From uh, Vancouver. The ice is ready for the Colorado Avalanche and the Detroit Red Wings. Coors Field transformed. Hockey fans flooding downtown Denver. Allows us to kind of highlight our city. The Denver Sports Commission pushed to bring the NHL Stadium Series here. This is the first time for this event, so it's really hard to say exactly what our impact is going to be. But I, you know, I think if you walked into any of the restaurants around in this area, I think they'll tell you that quite a bit of uptick is going on this weekend. Fans want to be part of the excitement outside Coors Field. The fan experience continues inside. As you can see, the NHL went all out, even building mountains in the outfield. It's easy to see why tickets are at a premium. We're anticipating it to be sold out. I think there's a few left, um, but you know, you're almost going to have 50,000 people here. Here to see hockey greats, former Avalanche and Wings alumni take the ice tonight, bringing back memories of a rivalry that runs deep. Are you hoping to see a hockey fight? <laughs> Oh, there's going to be a hockey <laughs> fight. I want to see a goalie fight. And we'll have to see about that. You know, there were a lot of questions about the ice and the weather. And, you know, with the sun shining today, if the ice was going to hold up, NHL officials tell me that the temperature inside their stadiums is usually around 65 degrees, which is basically what it was outside here today in the 60s. They also had reflective blankets on the ice to protect it from the sun. That was their main concern. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.